That's a cool memento of our secret cabbing in the woods. Thanks, Claire, but I will never wear these things. Get dressed before you go, dude. Claire thinks breakfast is like a job interview. <laughs> Daniel looks like a total thug in his new pajamas. This, this is pretty good so far. I love that Steven only has crime and train books. All right, I'm allowed to go out now. Sean, finally. Sean, are you awake? Breakfast's almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! <sighs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. <laughs> um, it's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. <laughs> I won't. Fuck. I broke this thing like 10 years ago. I can't believe they fixed it and kept it. We stopped our training session since we got here, so it sucks. Oh, man. How did we survive for weeks out there with no hot water? Better hit the kitchen quick. Claire's waiting for us. Oh. Oh my, look who's awake. Good morning. Daniel, mm. breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandpa's showing me a pop star. Steven, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. I love how they're getting along. Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers. But the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! <laughs> ah, sugar. He can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great, as usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Yeah, it's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe, unlike the big city. I get it. Thank you. 
I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. I thought Stephen was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma. I wanted to ask you something. About that locked room upstairs. I told you, there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning, then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? <sighs> this is bullshit. Daniel, language. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. And maybe you should tell him to watch his mouth. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Daniel needs that. He doesn't know anything about her. I know, poor thing. But his mother isn't in there anymore. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. It's cool. I don't care. She left us anyway. Yes, Sean. She left all of us. Anyway, you have to respect my rules under my roof, okay? Of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Danny will freak. Thank you. I need a handy assistant. Can you hand me the glue in the cupboard behind me? Sure. Hold on. Whoa! Careful. Sorry, I've, I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just... Uh, okay. Sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but uh, I'm a lazy old man. Hey, uh, can you close the door? I want to talk for a second. Oh. Uh, it's the power cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. So, listen, I've uh, noticed things with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you?
Yeah. I do. But uh, how the heck is that possible? I mean, he can... Well, you know more than me. Uh, not really. It started in Seattle after... Everything happened. I wish I could explain, but that's how it is now. And we have to live with it. I, I really don't know what to think. He needs a doctor or something. Then I'd probably never see him again. Yeah, I get it. He needs you. More than anything else. And by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. She adores Daniel. And just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is... Maybe you should... Stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... We have a home in Puerto Lobos. Dad wanted to return there. Two Mexican boys out on the run? <sighs> that won't be a secret in Beaver Creek for long. America is your home. With us. And you have to think about your brother, you know, his future, all that stuff. It's too dangerous for us to stay here. And for you guys, too. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids? Of course not. But everything's different now. I know. I know. Well, just think about it. But don't torture yourself. I will. Hey, uh... Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Here. You guys enjoy the sun. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. Thanks. It's good to see you in my lair. You know, you were afraid to come in here as a kid. Really? <laughs> Why? No idea. Mm -hmm. But you're a big boy now. You can take a look around. I won't eat you. Cool. <laughs> oh, there you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey, I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how to work a washing machine? Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally, yeah. Um... No problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> Feel free to start tidying your stuff, too. It's good for the health to keep a house clean. Definitely. Daniel can help. Ah, and remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. Hey, Daniel! There's work for you. Uh, no. I'm busy. D Busy my ass! Come over here! <laughs> you gotta find me first! <sighs> Jeez. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh... 
What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's Mom's. Please. Daniel, you heard Claire. They will freak out if they know we went inside. We won't tell them. We'll be in total stealth mode. They won't know anything if we make it quick. It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. The door is still locked. We'll find a way to open it. Or, I could just blow this stupid door up with my power. That looks super easy. <sighs> yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, alright? I'm just gonna clean up real quick. <sighs> Locked door. Maybe the key to Karen's room is inside. Yeah, no. No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. Hurry. I'll stay here in case they come back. Sharp objects. <laughs> Bit like Claire. <sighs> come on, little key. Don't be shy. Definitely not the one. Way too small. But let's see what it opens. Whoa. I'm just looking for a key. Not the crown jewels. Ew. Are these milk teeth? I'm not sure if it's gross or cute. But still. No key here. <sighs> okay, Steven. Where do you hide this key? Yeah, not much to see in here. Clothes, old stuff. <sighs> but definitely no hidden key. I saw it, Grandma coming out the room yesterday. Did you see where she put the key? No, I don't remember. Oh, shit. Well, thanks anyway, Daniel. Hey, I think that's the cardigan Claire was wearing yesterday. Yes. Found one key, so it better fit. Just try it. Wow. There's not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? It's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. Man, that pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice. Karen liked to take pictures of strangers when we walked down the streets. Okay, Daniel. You've seen everything you wanted to see? Claire and Steven will be home soon now. Just... five more minutes.
They want to forget anything related to Karen. Hm. I can relate. It's like she almost never used those. I think I remember that one. Karen showed it to me once. You... Ulysses? The Ulysses, because they made them sad. Yeah. Dad did the same thing, too. I've never seen any picture of Mom in our home. Well, figures Karen was already looking for an exit. Hey Daniel, check this out. His name is Ulysses. Like... the hero? I guess. So cool. They looked happy. How could you send all of this to hell? These pictures are so... random. Hi, Ulysses. Yeah. You finally left forever. Coward. Is that an amethyst? She was into New Age bullshit. I miss my music. This playlist is boring as hell. You were a friend of my mommy's? I hope she took good care of you. Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for mom? Huh? Let me see. Daniel. Come on. What's it say? Read it. Seriously, stop. Here. How about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop-out in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. Thank goodness. Oh. Oh, shit. Excuse me, what are you both doing in here? Except visibly, ransacking our house while we're at church? Daniel just wanted to see the room. Yeah, I did. Sean, don't shift the blame to your brother. You're supposed to be the adult. Claire, please, calm down. No, Stephen, they went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of this room. I have room. the right to see my mom's room. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. You... You lied to us! We found mommy's letter! She wants to see us! She's not my daughter anymore, or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me, all of us. 
She is not welcome back. It's been eight years. Maybe it's time to move on. Don't you dare lecture me, Sean. You don't know anything about how I feel. I can't hear that. <sighs> Listen, Sean. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that going through our stuff, our personal belongings, well, that shows you don't respect us. Then you act like I'm the bad guy after what we've done for you. I knew something like this might happen. Maybe you two staying here wasn't such a good idea. Man, I think I see why mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh, shit! Get this goddamn thing off me! Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! this. Claire, you'll have to pull him out. Hold on, Steven. This might hurt. This is worse. Do it. One, two, three. Hold on. My leg. Almost there. Come on. Oh, my baby. <sighs> You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. Oh, Stephen. Please don't say that. It's, it's the sheriff. Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Someone called us. We know they've been here. Apparently, someone logged on to your grandson's Facebook page. Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No. No. No way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car is in the driveway. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Thanks, Grandma. We're going to miss you. I'll stop that. We'll see you as soon as we can. OK? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel, wait for me while I go upstairs.
Why? Why did Chris jump in front of that car, Sean? Why? He's okay, Yanano. The car barely touched him. You... You said I should be more careful. But... Because of you. I didn't do anything, and... I could have. Hey. You don't know what could have happened, okay? What's done is done. <sighs> you didn't even let me check on him. What if he is dead? You could see the car slow down before. So, Chris will be fine. Trust me. You, you promise? Promise. Sean. I'm tired of running away. Why does my power always bring trouble? You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. But I'm good with it. And I'm the only one who can do these things. I know, but Daniel, you need to be careful. And listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plan. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. You, you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look, I wanted to wait until then, but we kind of need a little cheer, so. Merry Christmas, Inanna. For me? Thanks, Sean. Hey. Listen. There's a ride. Come on. All aboard. It's me, you've come to take my due.